There's a lot that can be done with Microsoft Access and what we have covered in the previous videos is just scratching the surface. For those of you that have not watched the previous videos, I'd recommend that you go and check them out. At this point, I'm going to show a couple more things here. One of them is exporting data into Microsoft Excel. So if we go here under external data, we can go ahead and actually send something. So let's say we have this invoices paid, yes or no. Notice it has this data. You can actually choose to send it to Excel or to a text file or email and so on. You can also right click on this stuff and then choose export and then choose Excel. So either way will work. So if I choose the first method here, select the query, click on Excel, then it's going to save it to a specific location and you can even choose to preserve the layout. Let's say we want to preserve that. And then we'll open the destination file when it's completed. Now we'll just click OK and the process is complete. So now in Excel, you, what you could do is you could take this data and sort it out and adjust it and work with it any way you want, uh, like you used Excel before. Create charts and things of that nature. So that's one of the options. Another option is to create a mail merge from a query or a table that you have in Microsoft Access. There are a couple ways of creating the mail merge. You can either go into Word first and then link to the database and then run the uh, mail merge from there. So that's one of the ways. The second way, and it's a little bit easier actually, is to go into access, select what table you or what query you want to utilize. For example, I want here the invoice is paid yes or no. And to make things a little bit easier here, I could actually go and add the addresses if I wanted to. So if I wanted to choose design view and I want to go and add the addresses, I could. If I was going to actually send an actual mail, letter basically. So if we go here to the right, they'll be in the very end. And it doesn't matter the order at this point. So let's say I'm happy with it. Save this. If I run it, it will also have the addresses. So now let's go ahead and create a mail merge from this one. So we have this query and we go under external data and then we choose to export this data into a mail merge because you remember this was to import before the beginning of Microsoft Access what we did and then here we are going to choose a mail merge. Double click on it. It asks us do we want to link it to an existing Word document. That means that if we have an existing document, a form letter, like a letter that we are writing to our customers and so on, we could utilize an existing one or we could go and create a new one from scratch. So we're going to use the second option here. We'll click on OK and then it opens Microsoft Word. At this point, it's just asking us, it's kind of simplifying the process. The linking has been done. It's asking us whether we want letters or email messages or labels or what do we want. So I'll choose letters. Then I'll click on start the document. Then I'll tell the system that I'm going to use the current document even though it's blank. Then we'll choose the next step, select the recipients. The recipients are already selected. It's kind of linked to Microsoft Access because we started the process from Microsoft Access and kind of that part is complete. Usually you'd have to pick it if you started from Microsoft Word. So for now we are all set with the current list here. No, notice invoice is paid, no. That's the query in Access. Then we click on write your letter. Then at this point it's asking us basically to insert the fields. So if I wanted to insert the fields, I could go ahead here under insert mail merge field. And let's say I want the first name, space, last name. Then I want the address. Notice it doesn't matter the order. 
and then I want the city comma state and then zip and we could say dear and then put the first name of the customer and you could have let's say the amount here and we want to put a dollar sign in front of it so it formats it correctly and let's say we want the late fee posted as well and then you could put the invo invoice number we actually don't have that listed here but we could choose contract number for now Now at this point with your company logo you could format this and make it nicer a different font and so on and adjust it the way you want it you could preview your letters and they're going to look similar to this if you wanted to format this nicer notice i forgot to put the dollar amount there or the dollar sign you could do that and if you're ready to you could exclude certain recipients and then you could complete the mail merge. So click on next step, complete it. You could print them out or edit the individual letters. I recommend that you choose edit to just look at them first. And now notice this is how it's going to look. So that's how you create a mail merge from Access using Microsoft Word. And one more final thing before we finish here with Microsoft Access, let's go back. In Microsoft Access, from time to time, it's uh, worthwhile that you'd actually do compact and repair the database. What that means is that uh, it goes and checks it and verifies the data and so on. The other thing that you need to do is that you need to make a copy of the database so that you have a backup of it. Because if you are collecting so much data and you are also spending so much time on it, you want to have good backups of the database. So basically you need to have multiple copies of it. It's important also to understand that when using a Microsoft Access database, you can have multiple users use the same file, update, modify, and view the data from the same file, unlike Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel. So that's it on Microsoft Access. Hopefully it was beneficial. Uh, feel free to refer to the other video tutorials on learning these different features. Uh, that we have covered so far in Microsoft Access.